in the morning of March 7, 1997. Two women named Sylvia Shades and Mary Collinan were found dead in Grange Gorman, Dublin. Murder was a rare occurrence in Ireland in general, but what made this case even more special was the brutal way in which they'd been disfigured. Their throats and faces had been cut, and one of the women's genitals had been mutilated. However, neither of them had been raped and no traces of semen were found on their bodies. The killings were described as the most brutal murders in Irish criminal history by the Irish Examiner newspaper. A team of criminal psychologists developed a profile of the killer and the garden. The State Police Force of Ireland conducted extensive investigations and interviewed over 250 suspects. The best lead they had pointed to the involvement of a local heroin addict named Dean Lyons with learning disabilities in the murders. He'd also been convicted of burglary and syringe robberies in the past. When brought in for questioning, he was evidently suffering withdrawal symptoms and thought that he would be given heroin upon release. In order to be quickly released, he confessed to the murders, but gave a lot of incorrect details about the crime scene and changed his story several times. Overall, his confession seemed very unreliable, but the Garda were convinced that he was the murderer, or perhaps it would be better to say they had no better alternatives. According to the people they'd interviewed, Lyons had been talking about killing and murdering people in the past, and the facial composite they developed matched him. However, not everyone was convinced that Lyons was the murderer. There were some disagreements among the police, but ultimately, Lyons was put in jail to await trial. A few months later, Carl and Catherine Dorp were stabbed to death in Ballantober, County Roscommon, and their murderer was identified to be an Afro-Caribbean individual who was relatively easy to locate among the white Irish people. The Garda managed to catch the culprit after a few hours with some resistance, and he was quickly brought in for further questioning. The perpetrator, named Mark Nash, was reluctant to admit to his crime at first, but he eventually confessed to murdering Carl and Catherine. He also confessed that he'd murdered two other women a few months ago and he was not in his right mind. First, Nash realized what a grave mistake he'd made and wrote a letter to the Garda, retracting his confession and changing his statement. Second, since Lyons had confessed at first, the cops had to find out why he'd confessed to a crime he never committed. In 2000, Lyons agreed to testify as a witness against Nash in a trial, but he was found dead due to heroin overdose in his rented room before he could testify. Thus, Nash's trial for the Grange Gorman was put on hold for several years, as there was no urgency to convict him since he was already in prison for the murder of Carl and Catherine. Finally, in 2009, DNA tests showed evidence of victims' blood on Nash's jacket which had been in the possession of the police for nearly a decade, and Nash was formally charged with the Grange Gorman murders. In 2015, after a lengthy legal battle, Nash was finally sentenced to life in prison to put an end to the Grange Gorman tragedy.